Our time in Belize is coming to an end and we still have a few islands on our bucket list. In this episode we set sail to Tobacco Key, which is surrounded by very shallow water and we're not sure whether we can make it. To add to the stress, we are being chased by squalls on the way. So it's Sunday, we are uh, anchored close to Tachki. Captain is having his breakfast, so it's I think half past eight, no? So the plan was to go to Tobacco Key today. And uh, it's not easy to get there from here because it's very shallow. So we spoke to the manager in Tachki yesterday and he said that he's actually going to go fishing close to Tobacco Key and that he could uh, take us there and leave us there for the day. So he was supposed to arrive today at seven, but he didn't. What happened next? So I had to clean the <laughs> oven. Yeah, okay, in the meantime, we, had, we did some cleaning, but the point is, um, uh, he came at eight, uh, the manager, and he said that uh, they checked the weather and uh, it's pretty rough there at the reef and they are going to fish, go fishing uh, in another place over there. So Tobacco Key is there behind the touch key. We said that we don't want to go fishing, we want to go to tobacco, so we will in the end take the boat. We will go slowly, I will sit at the front and I will actually monitor the depth in case I see anything. Dan has his uh, application, he has the Navionics, he has, uh, he's using Google Maps, which are very accurate. And we will go very slowly, um, we will motor um, there, it will take us approximately two hours. In case there is a problem, we will return. We had uh, three squalls in the night. You know, you you see it coming even if you're sleeping because it. Um, what happens is that it starts to blow suddenly. Very strong wind comes, and then it starts raining immediately. And it rains for five minutes, and that's that's it. It's over. I can already feel the cold air. So what happens is that it's hot and suddenly you have this breeze, this cold air, and then it starts raining. It's always the sign. Starting to get the feel for things. And you know, with squall, the thing is, everything comes from one minute to another. Usually in my country, you know, in Europe, when it rains, it yeah. starts to rain slowly, slowly, more or less. And it rains a long time. You get like 15 second warning. And, and here, boat. cold breeze and bam, rain. But Crazy rain, and then bam, done. Yahoo! We're gonna get wet. <laughs> I saw 23. We didn't get wet. It missed us. We arrived. Woohoo! And it wasn't that bad. Uh, it was about three and a half to four meters uh, most of the way. We dropped an anchor at this white sand patch just off to the left of us and uh, gonna go to the island. Ooh, I, I'm actually 
exhausted mm -hmm. because I was uh, I was uh, I was on high alert for the last hour and a half. That's the reef right there, all the way all the way out to the end. Exciting! That's the pure nature here. And the fisherman said that it is very rough. It doesn't seem rough, just where the waves are breaking. But you can see the other side. You can see the sea behind yeah. the reef, and it doesn't seem that rough. Is it okay that we go to the island? Thank you. Super. Tobacco key part of the Southwater Keen Marine Reserve, is a tiny island in Belize located directly on the barrier reef. If we just want to do some snorkeling, where do you suggest we go? Not the, too far. The best place to snorkel is see that little staircase with the yellow pins on it? Yeah. You just go right in there, you'll be about to your knees in water. Uh -huh. And just lay down and start to swim. Thanks. Okay. And look how noisy the reef is. Incredible. Wow. So close. It is owned by a local Creole family. Still has some residential houses with a permanent population of about 30. With a few guest lodges with colorful over water cabanas for diving and snorkeling lovers. Say what? Swedish? No, we are Czech. <laughs> Not anymore. It seems that it's more of a residential island, so there are many families living here. Uh, so here we have some cabanas, I guess, that can be uh, rented. Um, I think the advantage of this place is that it's right at the end of the reef, or at the reef crossing, let's say. So. Uh, it's, yeah, it's perfect for uh, people who want to dive or snorkel. Dalshi. Right here, right here. This is huge. Yeah. Spotted eagle ray is flying. And southern stingray? Waves. Yeah, my, my feet are really hot. I think something's coming, baby. Rain? Yeah, look over there, it's kind of dark. You know what we're gonna do? We'll stay away directly. No? Yeah, I'm, f I'm down with that.
Thank you for following our voyage. Please subscribe to our channel for more adventures. <laughs> we got fish! <laughs> Where, Where from? Leslie! Wow! He took care of us. There's like a piece of barracuda and three yeah. hotels. High five! <laughs> Easy! Cool!